Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to get started on your research for the artist that you've chosen. So for my example, I've chosen Louise Bourgeois, and I picked her because I like her art. Um, there's even one of her pieces is on the research guide I'll show you. And so I picked her name because I know a little bit about her. Maybe you pick someone you don't know anything about. How do you quickly learn a lot about your artist, such as, you know, when she was alive, what she's known for, um, so that you can start to do other research on her, because you have to start with a basic understanding of who this artist is. So the first source I'm going to recommend that you use is your textbook for your class. This is what we call background research, right? So the topics for your class or the artists were chosen because you're going to study them in class or they're important to what you're studying in class. So the first thing you should do is use your textbook. I don't have a copy of your textbook at my house, but I do have a copy of this big mama <clears throat> art history textbook. And so what I'm gonna do is look in the index in the back of the book to see if there's anything in this book on my artist. Now, women artists are typically under-researched. Uh, Louise Bourgeois um, is pretty um, contemporary. Like, she's been alive while I've been alive. So the, the more recent the artist is, the less likely they are to have a lot of research on them. But let's see what we can find. So when I look in the index, I see that there is, she is in here. Um, she's just got one page, but she's in here. So if I turn to that page, I can get a little information about her and her work and what she's known for, and also um, how she fits into the rest of art history, right? But I need more information than like a blurb in a picture. So let me show you some other resources we have to conduct this background research. So I'm on the research guide um, we created for your class. And um, if I scroll down, I see some sources that are recommended for background research. Where I'm gonna start is Grove Art Online. Now, when you try to access a library research um, tool from your house, a database, you usually get stopped and you'll be asked for your credentials and you just put in the username and password you use for Canvas. So Grove Art Online is like an online encyclopedia for art and artists. So I'm just gonna type her name in. And it's really important I spell it correctly or I will get no results. Ooh, and I must have misspelled her name, yes. And I get a biographical article about her, which is just what I need, right? So it's going to give me an overview of who she is. Um, it tells me when she was alive, and I'd write this down so that I have it later. So she just died in 2010, 10 years ago. Um, it gives some pictures of her work. And this is still really short, but at least it gives me a little more to deal with. So. Now that I know, you know, who she is, where she worked, what kind of work she did, and when she was alive, I still need more research. And so to do that, where I'm going to go next are books. So if you click on the next tab on your research guide, you're going to see a video about how to find um, ebooks um, in the Cerritos College Library Catalog and also in a, in a, research in a resource called the Internet Archive. 